So, we are bowling, uh, about, what are we bowling? We're bowling a five-ball challenge. Five two ball games. Challenge, yeah, two games. Oscar just won the first game, 249 to 224. We've gone through two and a half balls. Yep. You threw the face four. The, uh, the dark code, and now you're on the helios. I threw the widow. You made me throw the widow. The urethane widow. The, uh... Speed and I'm on the defender, two more frames. I'm really happy for Tom. He's been a great friend for all these years. And the last year he had, phenomenal. So really glad to see. He's actually smiling. <laughs> but yeah, we, we, we've done game one, 249, 224. In total game, uh, total, total pinfall. I suspect for him to beat me. If not, I'm, 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 I'm sad for him. <laughs> not really. <laughs> but uh, we're just doing a challenge. Being here in Iowa, practicing, getting ready for the World Series, the doubles, relaxing, practicing, gym, and whatever. And now just trying out balls, seeing what they do, practice, just getting ready for the good mental set. Thank you, It's a great place. My second time here, was able to come here uh, for two days. Two years ago? Yes, two years ago. Two, no, three years ago. Three years. 2019, maybe? Yeah, 2019. Three years ago. Yeah. Old league and we practice so great place, great people. Happy to be here again. And let's do uh, game two. Yep, let's get back to it. So I'm on in the, in the defender. Yep, the defender for two more frames. Which is pretty much my regular drilling right now. It's 50 by four and a half by 30. Baron was junior gold. Junior gold day two from this year, I believe. I think it's 45 feet or so. And he's worried that I might win. Well, I, I don't know where my ball is going. I'm not aiming. You aiming? Yeah, I throw it with one hand and a thumb. I have to aim. I, uh, I don't agree. Maybe you should change hands. Yeah, I'm terrible, sorry. I don't know what happened. I'm on the white right here, and I guess it just popped up on the previous one. This is game two of our match. Tom looks lined up. I hope that Jim's going to be too much for him. So he will have the Nova first, that shiny too, so we'll see, we'll see. Hell on, I'm being pretty good. It was a longer drive from, from Akron to here, it's 10 hours, but it was good weather, an easy drive. So yesterday we just hang out, went to the gym a little bit, and then, well, participated in the league. Done. Oh, not again. Not again. Oh, did you strike again? See you guys? Two messenger with the defender. It's the same. Not the guys, it must be the ball. It can't be the 550 rev range that the guy's throwing it with. It has to be the ball. What? So it can't be the 550 rev range that the guy's throwing it with. I don't it have that many. Next is Web Pearl. Similar drilling, slight over. I'm going to move about three right. Stand up and fight. Oh, look at that. No, that was just me. I got a chance, y'all. I got a chance. That was just me. It's close. Good guess. 
Be two four. Wall. We throw in the Nova. A little bit stronger than the uh, Helios I was throwing. So I'm gonna move a couple left with my feet. Try to keep it oil a little longer. And I hope you two ten. Again, we're bowling a two-game match. Bowled the first game already. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened with the stream. It, it got off, caught off. Oh, and that strikes. That strikes. That was way worse than mine. That was way worse. Yeah, and you're Results bitching. Results way better. And you're bitching about well, my luck. I'm not bitching, I'm pinching. I'm bitching. squeezing it off because I'm nervous. Bitching. I'm nervous. About pinching. my luck, you said. Pitching it off. Now, this is the uh, the Masters, a Senior master, master, Senior Europe Open winner, Player of the Year, After Rookie of the Year. He won everything. He went to Dubai for the World Championships for the seniors. He won that, he won the, uh, the singles. Tom had a phenomenal year last year. There's the 2 210 I was asking for. That's so nice of you. You didn't get a, get, get a hold of that one either, though. That wasn't the ball, that was kind of weird. Do you agree, Tom? No. He gets angry when he splits. He doesn't talk to me anymore then. Rude, right? Hello, everybody si uh, signing in. Like I said, we're bowling a two-game match with five different balls. Tom got to choose what I'm using in the order, and I got to choose what Tom's using. In the order, I chose Phase 4, Dark Code, Helios, Nova, and Gem for Tom. And he chose the Pink Widow Urethane, the Speed, the Defender, and I'm at, currently at the Web Pearl. And my last one will be the 3D Offset. We'll worry about that one, but I hopefully Tom will make it easy on me. Tom is making it easy on you. What more do you want? You just need one shot. That was a bit NES, but I'd rather miss in right now than right. So, this game was, it was 249? 225? Not 25? Okay. We are bowling on the Junior Gold 2nd day pattern, which is about 45 feet. We bowl about, I don't know, 15 minutes to get a warm wrap line earlier on. And then we chose the balls. It was. That's, that lane seems to be hooking a little bit more too anyway. It stays a little harder. Yeah, we just, I just came up with this good practice. It's gonna make us think a little bit, change balls, show off some of the balls, compare them to each other, so good fun practice. And there was a great shot by Tom, he was willing his roll to make it pick up from the free zone that just, just went past it and unfortunately slightly left lost a little bit too much. If it goes a little lighter, the pins are everywhere, it's like behind the sky, so that was a bit unfortunate. That was frame six, which means Tom fitting both. I have another frame with my web throw. some help out of Oscar here because I think it went really bad in the fourth. I'm playing the batter apparently. That was good, man. Got the 
speedometer. Still gonna have a 15 10 liters over here. Yeah, we're gonna have to get that one over there. Yeah, yeah. Or not. Oops. I guess I'm a nice guy. <laughs> Web's up. He's making, making sure that the old man wins. He doesn't want to pay any rent for staying at my place for a couple days. Big gas and whatever so far already. Last one, 3D offset. About the same drilling. This is 50 by four and a half by 25. Made me throw you a thing. Just saying. <laughs> it's 5 by 55 by 30. I want to see too, quite a bunch. Saw some of those thrown last week. They, they do seem to look quite fun. Good news. There is a reason why I left this one last. Yeah, he said he was being nice. I was. Allowed you to do the same thing before, both are straight. That's just him not knowing what his balls do. I moved, I didn't move enough. That's not even a move. Two boards? That's just a miss walk. That we're bowling two game match. Not really for the score, more, more just, to, just get to see what the balls do compared to each other. Just keeping up with the transition, seeing what they do with each other. Just having some, just not throwing balls on practice. Just giving some thought of it. So I like this kind of practice. What do you think, Tom? I like it. it it's, been, it's fun. It's, uh, it makes you think. It, it sucks losing, but you know, yeah, I hate but like, losing. If we would have just had no scores on, we like now we're actually seeing what the balls do compared to each other. We have to be focused, we have to be on it all the time. Yep. And it makes you more focused every shot instead of just repeating shots. That is correct. Well, I don't think anybody that likes losing is into competition. <laughs> Not very good. Play the rack. Play the rack. Play the rack. <laughs> they all count, right? It's funny, I was already talking thinking about what I'm gonna say about the wall because 3D offset, I really liked it. I got this from the uh, original one 25 years ago. And this now it remakes the uh, in memory for uh mode that unfortunately passed away recently. Great move, Tom. Great move. I'm all uh, with a great guy. A lot of great balls. And uh, this is kind of uh, 
the first mobile since most passing away. that you're a great guy, you're a great person and congrats on your last year. Thank you. Hey, the kids watching Spurs are very important. That's one of the reasons that I feel I'm able to compete against the kids. Because most of the time I make my prayers. To be honest, the kids do the two. Everybody on tour is pretty good. the pins a little better. Another lucky one. What Oscar decided, you know, he was going to pick on the old guy. And... Sometimes just you have to. So sometimes you have to show that. Yeah. There's more to the world than the American. Right? Yes. are incredibly important and uh, well almost everybody in tour is great especially the top guys they're all they barely miss a spit that's fair they yeah they score fast and, 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 and make a sound you notice it but in, in general if you look at the stats nobody in tour is bad at first because when you know you're gonna leave whatever you're gonna leave you're more than likely gonna make it it's such a confidence booster. Even in the US Open, you know, on top of the batters, and you know you're going to basically, by automation, make your spares, and you don't really have to think about it. It's such a great thing. Okay? Yeah, absolutely. You know, when you, when you get around the pocket, you're going to die a lot, and you, you, you make most of the spares. Yeah, those days aren't the issue. It's just when, you are, when the lanes are hard and you're struggling, and if you have to focus on spares, yeah, there's just that much energy you can have in your brain and then if you have to use those pairs, well, obviously you're going to be uh, way bigger trouble in, in the first shots too. Yeah. But uh, thank you for Tom for having me. It was oh. a great night. Somehow I managed to win. I think I'm going to leave this on. We're going to practice for a little bit while I think more. Oh, sure. Just leave on things and just put comments or uh, questions and come back here and there and, 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 and go through them and, and maybe even try to. Now we were just going to the score. Now actually I'm going to try a little bit different things on the lanes with one ball, releases and yeah, such. Can I do one more time? Two more games? Yeah, okay, you. You guys have any any idea what we should do for a game or something? Or, or a challenge? Either way, we're going to practice for a little bit. Actually, and not just score. And just, I'm just going to try out a few things. Megan, MG, everybody here at the Ballerama Lanes, they've been crazy nice, really great, long the ball, playing the oil, oil, sorry, oil the lanes for us, and 
But I won't place. Speed left shot. Last shot. His launch speed was 18. Well, it was that fast? Yeah. Hello, everybody. I see there's a fellow Finnish person online. Great to see you. Don't get to see Finnish people too often. Good talking to you guys. Have a jamish you'd want us to try and bowling against each other? Something like maybe bowl two frames for each, each arrow or something. There you go, I deleted all the shots we've thrown, so now you're you're on set up on lane seven with respect to go on. the brand new speed from Colombia for a while now. Asymmetrical but not the strongest one. I think it's gonna be a great addition to my bag. Focus on a slower ball speed. That's pretty much it.
He took me here to Nova Service. We um, had a few days off. Drove here Sunday after the TLC. And uh, just hanging out, getting ready for the uh, for the players, the uh, doubles and the World Series, and just hanging out and, and so on. Do I still throw my spirit at 30 miles an hour? Not quite. Sometimes I throw it without my thumb, like my legal thumb, two fingers. But I don't, with the new rules, I don't carry a ball with thumb hole. So I can use it for a shot. But I don't. We're here at Bowler Rama Lanes, great center. Just finished the two ma game match with Bowl. Uh, I don't know where he's gone. Penny Hiding, Senior. Sorry, the regular, regular Tour Master Winner, Senior Tour Master Winner. He was open winner last year's player of the year and rookie of the year on the senior tour and the world champion on senior world championship. We bowled two games with um, with uh, five different balls for frames each. And I was, I was lucky enough to pull the W. Boston Wolf, you bowled 280 tips. Uh, a lot of practice. A lot of practice. A lot of practice. Simplify your shot as much as you can. Make sure the base is very good. Swing is as straight as possible. And so you are maintaining as much of this of the force you're creating and making repeatability as, as easy as possible. Because that's basically what it's all about. We're trying to repeat or you're close enough to the same shot over and over and over and over again. With as, as little as possible. So, yeah, and what could be in bowling is there's no. No right or wrong style, there's just styles that are easy to repeat. Yeah, I think no one comment. I'm about to be done with my practice with bowl for for the match because I've got two games and then and a half, probably about 20 more, more minutes. Just stay loose, try a few stuff, stuff uh, things, and uh, just comparing balls, getting ready for, uh, for the tour again. I'm gonna be throwing the uh, brand new Columbia 300 Speed. It's an asymmetrical. I've drilled it, uh, what's this? This is about 45 by 4, 3 quarters and 30. I've tried it a little bit because we were in Akron and they had a lot of surface uh, friction there. And uh, 
working a little bit slower ball speed and just turning a little bit. And here's Tom. it in and put it on the storm spinner and took it to 2000. Just uh, just playing around with it. it didn't make, to... didn't like that That's what it's all about, matching your covers, the lanes where we're at, and uh, just having the right ball, the right matchup. Come on, Thomas, are you going to strike for us? You look horrible left-handed. I look horrible left-handed? Yeah. Are you saying that I look right-handed, though? No comment. Oh, nice guy here. Yeah, well, we're at Bone Rumble Lanes. Great people letting the ball. What are you going to do with that, Tom? What am I going to do now? Can you strike? Can you strike? Can you strike? Okay. Can I strike? Can I strike over here? Left hand. Left hand. No, 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 no. You are left handed on this because I'm all selfie mode. Series next week, and just tell me to go first, right? I'll be, uh, I'll be for caddy for 60% of the, of the winnings. 60% of my winnings? Yeah. You won't bowl and caddy for me. I might bowl. bowl I'd, I'd see more if I bowl. Caddy for me? I would see, no, not bowl for you. I'll bowl, so I'll see what the lanes do, too. Well, right. Think we can get paired together next week? For you, it would. Oh, that would be awesome. Do you promise to play right of me all week and, and wall them up for me? That might be impossible. Okay, I'll be right of you. It's not going to work on this path. Every time he lets go of it, the guy just strikes. Every time. Can I make a move from there? No, sorry, can I make a strike from there?
good challenge for us. Buster says I've bowled more 710 splits than 300 games. I have probably left more 710 splits than I've, I've had 300 games. I might have actually more, made more 710 splits than uh, 300. Do I live in Sweden? Yes, I do. In Partilet, which is next to Gothenburg, I get to practice. Well, nearly daily at John Chris Partilet, very bowling center. That's 12 lanes where we bowl league and everything. Do you guys have a challenge for us? Maybe something like use one ball for four or five different arrows or something? I don't know, for a game or so? I do not bowl against Jesper in league. I bowl with Jesper and Martin and Kim Bolivu and a uh, few other guys. A great team, the best, best team. Everybody wants to beat us. Everybody is jealous of us. Especially clown. <laughs> you want to listen? Hello. One, four, five, six. That will not Thomas Larson, he's Danish, he lives in Denmark, he plays Danish League. I personally have never bowled Danish League. I know some of my teammates actually have been bowled Danish League occasionally. But I only, uh, at the moment, I only bowl Danish League. I have bowled in German, German League for a few years. What's that? Almost nearly 10 years from now. And I have bowled Danish League. But only occasionally. I do live in Sweden and my. And, and whatever tournaments are quite often the same time as the so unfortunately I can go more there. Do you create a double bounce? Well, that just happens sometimes. It's just not me getting low enough, getting soft enough. So it's, it's nothing you really want to, you want to create. Zero when it's time to transition, not the other way around. Well, that is a lot of truth to that. But it's, it's a lot of us, well, everybody who bowls basically does that. But it is, it's like the, um, you can have a bowling, if you're bowling on like on the same pair for multiple games, it's different strategies than bowling among the different pairs. And then you bowl like a match, professional. So there's, there's definitely a lot of Choose that in 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 in. Balmo uh, didn't see me for the first time on tour. We met ages ago before that. We bowled a lot, a lot of tournaments together in in Europe and in Asia. Prior to him coming over, we did bowl a few events, or three or four or five. But I didn't join tour until 2009. I think Balmo came. Uh, he was full time in 2009, and I think he bought a few events already. So we, we, we were good friends already before that. And we were all friends before that. Well, somebody is saying, uh, Emmanuel Schering saying that Martin Lux is cheated using a Zen and went to an employee over the week before. Yeah, Martin, he. Uh, my great teammates and he sometimes when he gets it on he strikes and about the Swedish League it's um, there's I think there's six or seven patterns to choose from one of them is 40 foot flat that's, that's uh, nearly flat there's Tokyo Rome and some others and uh, they're reasonably hard Tokyo and Rome turn to be depending on the same quite high scoring and 37 can turn into quite high scoring task because people are using your hand and then playing with it, right? So the patterns themselves are, are super hard. Now we're not house or such what you would have here in America. But uh, enough chatting. We can go practice for a while. That's Tom. It was nice enough to take care of me for a few days. We've driven from Akron to here and now in, in Iowa. And we're going to about drive to. Uh, to, to uh, where are we going? We're going to Wisconsin, Milwaukee, either tomorrow or Thursday for the first the Rock Holman doubles, which I'm going to be following with Jacob Butler. 
and he's going to be bowling with Pepe. And that will be contested on the old beat, no, Roth and Holman pattern. Holman, I'm sure it's Roth and Holman. Roth and Holman, yeah. Roth is 42 feet, reasonably high scoring, depending on the center, if it's with the track hooks, they'll be higher scoring. And if the gutter hooks, and then the uh, raw, oh, sorry, Holman is 38 feet, I believe. Which normally turns into a uh, fest from the get go, and then some stronger symmetrical or, or, or whatever that to blend it out and reasonably uh, high scoring also. How do you join the PBA? I actually don't know the exact answer to that. Do you know, Thomas? What's that? How do you join the PBA? I think there are some requirements. You have to be a, uh, like. Uh, you have to average 200, it, 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 unless it's changed since the last time I looked. You have to average 200 in two different centers for two years. The other way you can do that is to cash in, I believe, two regionals, then you can join. So you can only bowl leagues and turn a member if you wanted to. No, you can you can bowl a regional and no, but could you turn pro by only bowling leagues? Yes. Wow. Yes. That'd be a hard way around to learning. Yes. Yeah, this is Tom. He has won the Masters in 2011, I believe it was. Yep. He beat some nobodies on the way there. Walter Ray and whoever, I don't know. Well, Lenny Borish, Walter Ray, Tommy Jones, Patrick Allen. Yeah, I don't know. Some, some, Chris, ha some house hacks. Chris Warren. And, and I uh, lost to Jack to be the number one seed for the show. And then on the show, I beat Mika and then beat Jack. Oh, you were second seed? Uh-huh. And then this last season he he turned senile, which allows him to bowl for a senior. <laughs> that was almost an honest mistake. And now uh, Tom, he's old enough, he's experienced enough, so he's allowed to bowl on two tours. So he went full time on on, on the senior tour, right? Yep. And had a great finish this season. Average start, but finished it off. Perfectly. Uh, it, it was a pretty solid start going in, you know, I, I was in the top 10 in the points pretty much the whole year. And then I uh, finished it off with Major Major Masters of the US Open, which clearly clinches him the Rookie of the Year. And obviously, Player of the Year. Or we're saying Player of the Year and clearly Rookie of the Year. And sure enough, come November, I guess it's because it's I wasn't in Dubai, but it was flex enough to he did the same thing in uh, with the World Seniors, beating the, beating the singles. Yes. So, uh, not too shabby, 2021. It was a pretty good year for Tom Hess in 2021, so yes. you need more COVIDs. You want need more COVIDs, yes. And then, yeah. <laughs> well, Tom had a great year, great friend. Well, one year, so I was really happy to see him. And he was nice enough to let me win, just. Yeah. We're gonna bowl for about 20 minutes more or so. Just throw a few shots. I'm Maybe ready to down. go whenever you're ready to go. There we see, he's old. How do you handle the pressure? For example, a championships match, keeping the nerves down. Um, that was one of the big things that led to my success this year is I was able to, one of the things I really worked on was staying in the moment, not thinking ahead. Know, taking one shot at a time, trying to um, look at the scoreboard, trying your time, do yeah. your routines, take your time, slow everything down, stay in my process. On, um, on the shows, it's so easy to you talk to people after shows and you go, How'd you do? and they kind of forget the whole show, but it is some miraculous way, it just kind of goes through so quick. It does. We get so excited that everything seems to be going faster even though it doesn't it's just because you are nervous it's it's a new situation so it's like everybody every now and then you get the question about what, what you do well my best tip is slow everything down as much as possible one shot at a time focus on your routines and focus on on the task at hand that's it don't focus on on the audience don't focus on anything else yep just try to stay in the moment um and, and value the moment yeah. Everybody gets nervous. Use that instead of getting jumpy or so. Use that and harness that to your advantage. Yeah, when uh, the last match at the Senior Masters this year, um, 
Chris was the number one seed. Chris Barnes was the number one seed, and it came down to that match. Um, whoever won that match was going to be player of the year and rookie of the year. And I was able to um, put all of that out of my mind. And, you know, uh, I had the fortune of I had just bowled three matches on the pair. I was kind of in control of what the, the lanes were doing and had the, for me, the lanes had already gone through the transition and had, had calmed down quite a bit for me. And I was able to just, you know, stay in the moment, make a bunch of really good shots and uh, things went my way. It's all about being comfortable. Yeah, I, I, and I was comfortable. Point. I mean, I, I got to a spot where, you know, to be honest, I was able to just bowl. You know, what I mean, I didn't have exactly. to think about, oh, I've got to do, I've got to do this to make the ball do this. I was lined up on both lanes. I knew that if I was pretty solid at the foul line, that. Uh, Who did this? Oh. Yeah, I knew that if I was pretty solid at the foul line, and uh, got it going in the right direction, I mean, it was going to hit the one three, and then it's just a matter of whether or not they all fall. Uh, I got fortunate for the for that day. They uh, they did. Shout out to, I have a pair of wet surfers or whatever you call them, thick, whatever. My feet, they, yeah, they, yeah, they, they stink. <laughs> so I use this for now. Yeah, we have to drive with the windows down. Because it's okay, okay, around. now you're just being American. Yeah. No, no, I'm just being honest. Yeah, I normally, I'm very quick. Okay, so we can Emmanuel, do you guys have any tips when it feels like I cannot do a single good shot? My last three matches I went from 950 to 940 to 700. Is this on the same pattern? It's probably like, it's a probably combination of all of things. More than likely, the biggest thing is we're over trying, over reaching. But as, as soon as we try and make something happen, everything floods more tougher because we're gripping it more. Not only are we making the ball react faster because we're not as loose, it will also not go as far and it will multiply all of the mistakes and make them bigger as they are. And then we panic and we move out of it. The lane maybe hasn't transitioned yet or we make bad calls. Like It's, it's all about being comfortable. But, uh, First of all, we're losing your body, but also we get we are, when we are loose, we're using less muscle, which makes repeatability easier too. Yeah. It's just the speed. Yeah. The swing isn't as straight either as as normal, so there really isn't anything positive about about it. Like if they're super super hard and we really have to jam it, then maybe the only time I say it's going to really force it. But that's when you know the pattern isn't there to double at all. It's just basically filling frames. But in, in, in a normal environment, when there's still some kind of an area, so it's just just to focus, as loose as possible, trust yourself, and do what you know you can. Hello, Steven. I'll, I'll see you there. It is what it is. It is what it is. And it's not, not it's, for us to be involved yeah, in it. It was a situation where PB had to do something and portion for Sean's half also when it was a smaller tournament, so it, yeah, it's, it's, it's in the bygones. bygones. Yeah. I have a challenge for us. You have a challenge for us? We're gonna do one ball, two strikes from second arm, third arrow, fourth arrow, and fifth arrow. The quickest. Least amount of shots. Okay. One ball. One ball. Okay. You pick my ball? No, you No. Just, we, we pick our own ball. Yeah, I'm worried about the second arrow. I don't, yeah. Yeah, that's our challenge now. We're going to finish with that.
Okay. You turn it this way. Uh, we're gonna have to send the one ball only. Okay. So you have to change a little tilts or yeah. hand positions or speed. Which lane do you want? Just do. Right lane or the left lane? No, let's just change. No, we'll just go on the same lane. Same, on the lane. same lane. Lane lane seven because it's better angle. Okay, so I'm I'm throwing until I strike for the second arrow. No, we'll go shot each. So if, if one but it goes goes out quicker they go. And I'm gonna give us plus minus one. So okay. nine to eleven is fine. Okay, are we gonna turn on spectro then so we can Yes. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna finish on a challenge. Use one ball. Two strike from second arrow, third arrow, fourth arrow, fifth arrow. Are we doing sixth arrow? That is doable. First arrow isn't doable. Isn't it doesn't make sense right now. You can do first error too, if you want. I don't care. I really can't. But I can. I can do Okay. Okay. Now. Okay. Okay. But then we're doing six that too. Clear screen. All right. No, so we'll we're do gonna do second through second through fifth. Let's just do second through fifth. Yeah. That's it's already three o'clock. Yeah. We need to go for okay. something. Second through fifth, we're gonna. It's got to be within at, at the arrows. It's got to be within one of the ten. So board. nine to eleven, sixteen to eighteen, 20, nineteen to twenty-one. Can't do this with my glasses on. That would be high enough. Show this back though. Might as well. So we don't cheat. Can you guys see it? I think so. Maybe. Maybe. Get something under there so it doesn't tip. Now I will be the odd shots and Oscar will be the even shots. Well, it just comes up automatically. Yep. That has to be it, right? Barely. What was that, 9.1? 9 9.2. You weren't even in, 11.1. That's out. Just saying. 10 9 is the last one, or 11, 11 0. Yeah, we're we'll finishing off with a challenge.
Did that one work? Oh, you lucky. 10-9. 10-9? better than your 10-9, I'm just saying. And I've struck every shot too. Yeah, so what we're doing is, same ball, strike from off the pocket, from second arrow, third arrow, fourth arrow, fifth arrow, changing speed, changing line, changing whatever. That doesn't count if he strikes. Arrows count, has to be a pocket hit, right? Doesn't count. It's no good anyway. 21-1? What? It wasn't. It was not. I want a VAR on that one. Pretty close to 20. It was 19-1, I thought it was 19. <laughs> You're getting your light switch. Oh, that's no good. That's no good. Well, that's off. That's what I, I'm said, I said that was 29. 20.9. 20. Okay, well we're gonna play by the because I thought yours was one or two more drive than that. So it was good or no? No, oh, it counted. I wasn't even going to, but it wasn't. I know you get nose plates over there, but we got this. Right over 25.
didn't count that. I think the point where it has the arrows is slightly longer. What did you say for this one? 23-1. I would have said 23, 2, 3, 4, 3, 3, 4. That's the good thing with AM and planes. Second, fourth, and sixth arrow are so easy for this challenge because you have the white, white, white. Twenty-five four zero. I'll give it to you. We'll finish on a draw. No, oh, you won. No, this is. I got more shots. It's a draw. It's a draw. Now this is another challenge that I like to do back home by myself. And what do you think I do that for? Why do I think you do that? To yeah. you teach yourself different axis rotations and. Ball speed, which your ball is different. Exactly. Versatility. Great ball, it teaches you not only speed, like you yeah, have especially the first few, you can get away with speed only and using whatever certain. Yeah, let's go back and look. Whatever certain. Uh, so, what, which strength did I. First strike when I, I struck was 10.9 oh, at the arrows. Yeah, that's not good. My launch speed. You start. Did you start or me? Yeah, I, uh, you started. Well, that, yeah, you can see oh, the reverse. Oops. Oh, 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 oh. You have to go oh, the oh. the original one. Oh, oh, oh. This is, oh yeah, you went to the. Um, Here. No, I love you. Here we go. So I went and didn't strike. The original speed was... One I struck was this one right here. You struck yeah, on the second it. shot. No, I started on third shot. On third shot. So you went 18, 20. And then I threw it. Can't remember what you hit. Then you slowed down a little. No, yeah, not really. I hit it right. Then I threw it harder. And you struck. Well, it slowed down a little bit. And you moved an arrow. You slowed down the whole, whole mile. Mm -hmm. I think you didn't. You didn't strike first, so you slowed down another one. Yep. And then you kept that speed because that's, you thought it was close. Yeah. And I, I think you struck on that one, so you moved to the arrows. Oh no, actually, yeah, you went, you struck back to back three times. Mm -hmm. So you kept moving same speed because you just, you tucked your angles a little bit on the fourth arrow, right? Mm -hmm. You didn't change anything else, I don't think. Yep. Because there's a, there's a dry spot at third arrow, fourth yep. arrow, that, that was actually creating me little issues on the fourth arrow. Or third there. And then the last one, obviously, you're going slower and slower. Yep. That's what, that's the only, what I did there was I tried to change, yeah, went even slower. So the first one I threw, Launch speed in the early 21, I struck. So I moved an arrow, I took a, over a mile off the shot. I can't remember what happened. I, I missed, I it struck, but I, I missed the arrows. So I threw a little slower, a little straighter, and I think I struck. No, I, that's when I nine pin. Yeah. And then I will roll it and didn't get to ride as much. No, I did strike because there's, there's, yeah, then I get to move. That's where I 9 pin. The fourth arrow was a 9 pin. So I threw a little slower, faster, a little roll a little more. But I missed the shot. I believe it was 18-8. Then I got it. 
no, I left something else. And then I got it. And then obviously going further in, where there hasn't been any tra transition yet, we both slowed down marginally. Oh, uh, sorry. Quite a, quite a lot. Two uh, hours. If two you miles. go through here and look, so we were throwing a 10, I hit 11, 1. You hit 9, 2. Then I hit 10, 7. Yeah, we have only four different zones, and we I missed. missed I, I had I had one that missed, but it struck. That was the twelve nine. Yeah. And you were trying to hit fifteen. Then I'm trying to hit ten. Hit ten nine. And we're both playing fifteen. We went fourteen eight, fourteen four. Then you're playing twenty and hit nineteen, and I'm still at fifteen and hit yeah. fourteen four. Missed by point three. We and both then, hit it. Yeah, and we both hit it. Both, both hit it. Whoops. Both hit it. Yeah, and we then, hit it. Then then there was a twenty three, the one you missed. A yeah. lot. It feels yeah. like a lot, yeah. but it was only an hour, uh, four and a half. Yeah. So, yeah. So we were all, we were pretty close at hitting what we were well, looking you, at. Well, you can see it actually in the graph. Look at the lines. Yeah. We you were can see really, that we're clearly changing zones. Yep, and we're really close to where... We're doing the same, both actually doing the same thing, too. Yep, yep, and we were... Uh, yep. We were both pretty accurate at, at doing what we were trying to do. Even That's though good, we feel good, horrible today, we still still manage to hit things where you're doing so. Uh, so, but student the, centers where you have Specto, great tool. There's a lot of info. A lot of it is is, is it's too much information sometimes. We just we still have to do the shots and then yeah, have to know a lot of things. But don't focus on too much on the details. Just take the important part: the angles, the speed, and, and, and so on. And really, you have to be able to try to do. It's uh, Specto is a nice tool to uh, verify what you're thinking, you know. So exactly. you don't let, don't let be the code. You be the code. You be the uh, the eyes behind you. The verifier. But uh, we need to wrap this up and get headed home, uh, everybody. Thanks for tuning in and watching Oscar and I practice for a little bit. Uh, we need luck coming week. We're going with Pepe. I'm going with Jacob, and then the World Series. Both both decent, typically last week. So yeah. good things coming. Yeah, I've been been bowling good. I've been trying to have fun bowling with the kids. Uh, you know, as you can see, watching on the uh, power wise, I'm at a little bit of a disadvantage. But I try to use my old age and treachery and my square shooting and try to keep it's up. It's an advantage to it sometimes. Like yeah. last week. It allows you to stay in places where most people can't. Right. To ball things from now there is in the audience yeah. and, and such. Yeah. So sometimes, about... sometimes it can be an advantage, and I took advantage of it last week. I bowled about as good as I could bowl last week. And, uh, it's all about matching up the lanes best to your your style, your skill, and such. And not your, try you, to use your uniqueness. Yep, that's, it's uh, way more important that you. you, you in general, every week, the guys are doing the same thing, the last 20 feet or so, like break on and on. The balls mainly are doing the same thing for the guys striking. Every center normally has a sweet spot, so to say, a sweet roll or so. So it's just, just matching up to that. But thank you, John, G, Megan, everybody here at the Bowler Amalek. Great to be here again. Good practice. And uh, might do this next week somewhere. I don't know. Thank you, Tom, for having me and uh, letting me win. Uh, Appreciate it. Yeah, it. Letting. But, uh, yeah. Have a good Thank cast. you guys.